And hello everybody, welcome to New Super Mario Brothers Wii! This should love to hear Super Sonic. Yes, this will be the start of my new le newest Let's Play! Super Mario Brothers Wii! Yeah, what Mario said. <laughs> now we are going to start New Super Mario Brothers and Wii! I'm pretty excited for this because, well, it's been uh, quite some, some time when I actually recorded something. And also you might notice that this is a new headset, which I'm quite amused about at the moment. So this m will make for some very, very interesting things. Well, as you can see, here's the uh, main menu here. You get straight thrown into the menu, no cutscenes or nothing. So let's just press to the start. Now, as you can see here, I already have two files with a ridiculous amount of lives. So let's just um, delete number three, because that's the one I used to play with my sister when I just own the game, but not anymore, I don't. No, I do own the game, but my sister doesn't play this anymore. So how about we select a new one and watch the opening cutscene. As much as I have a lot of friends I know, but for this I'm just going to do it solo with Super Mario. Here we go. And now you'll see the opening cutscene. Well, it doesn't have any dialogue, so I guess I could talk over it. Today is Princess Peach's birthday. With so many presents, Mario, Luigi, and two random toads are standing all together. And what is this? There's a giant cake! Over there with very obvious... Oh my god, it's the Koopa Links. Yep, they're back from Super Mario Bros. 3. This is the first time we there were introduced in this game. Also, a few new things are introduced in this game, but I'll go over that uh, later on. Especially Mario, Luigi... Uh, and Toes have a very, very simple story. Peach is gone, save her. That, 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 that's it. That's all you need to know. Let's see, there are three, I think, three new powers in this game, including those two you'll see right there with the propeller mushroom and the penguin suit. Let's go through that uh, when we actually acquire one, which is not too far from now, actually. So, which is good. Now, as you will see here, we're now taken to the, uh, world's <laughs> to the world map. There we go. <laughs> I think that's Iggy. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know the names of the couple links. I sort of know them. Okay, so as we see here, we're on now at the world map. Well, it's pretty obvious. It says, it says menu right here. You can see your star coins, which we don't have at the moment. We'll go through that later. And add and drop players when you um, want to add another player in it. When you have like two or three re remotes. And a quick save um, that you don't have to beat certain thing if you want to save the level. And the screen should uh, say enough. Let's go select your world, which we only have number one right now. And there's one, one through eight right there. So, uh, items, we still don't have anything. You can uh, unlock them by playing minigames. Uh, we'll go through that later as well. And the map, press the A button, you can scroll through it and see what's ahead of you. There's a giant goom over there, and there's an airship. You may think, come up, hurry up, hurry! But I'm explaining the basics right now for people I doubt any people who, have, who haven't played Mario yet. But anyway. Okay, how about we quickly take a look to the castle first before we actually go begin the game. And you're probably, come on! <laughs> okay, so basic controls for Mario game. If you haven't played a Mario game, then stop watching this video and go play Mario game right now. If not, if you're too late, so let me just explain it real quick. Uh, Airbots to move, duck, look up, not look up, but duck. One is to fire, fire any items and run. Two is jump. If you go to the wall and you can wall jump, if I can show it off. If I can show it off, there we go. Wall jump. If you press two midair plus the down arrow, then you do a stomp. And when you check the remote, you do a spin. Okay? Now let's see. Hit the block to see him movies. Head left when you want to leave. Well, actually, you can just unlock hidden movies rare right? if you are stuck getting um, certain coins or just want to see some super skills. But okay, enough talking about the game already. And <laughs> let's start. Let's play. Well, as you know from me, I will do 100%. Don't forget to stop by Peace Castle once in a while to watch hidden movies. More of them will unlock as you continue through your adventure. Yeah. Okay, so now we're actually going to start a game. And you see, there are three outlines of coins we still need to get. World 1-1. One, one. Basic world, very easy. And we go through these components. That's a Goomba right there, you can stomp him, that's pretty obvious. Okay. No way! 
No, I wouldn't tell. Okay, give me that mushroom. And as you could hear, there was my Wii remote. I know, I'm not sure if you could hear it, but that was my Wii remote. Now let's take a look. Um, actually, no, for me, I'm I'm going for 100% that is including all of the coins. So we'll we'll go through that later. Well, I'm basically saying we'll go through all the coins and the secret things, all the secret things, secret access included as well. So basic market. Basic Mario things. If you get a 100 coins, you get an extra life. Uh, one of mushroom. We still haven't gotten there yet. And I just picked up a normal mushroom, which will make you into Super Mario, which you can take an extra hit. I'm not sure why I'm explaining this, but I'm explaining for the heck of it anyway. Now let's see if it. I lost my mushroom to a Goomba. That's just freaking fantastic. That's just freaking. Fa oh god. Let's let's not go there. Well, it's been a while since I Mar played the Mario New Super Mario World 3. Can you tell? Okay, and when you hit the, that's the checkpoint, when you are small and you hit the checkpoint, you automatically turn back again. Okay, for the first new power-up, we got ourselves the propeller mushroom. If you want to fly in midair, it's basically a game explained to you, you gotta shake the Wii remote. And this for there was coin number one. You can shake the Wii remote and you press down to go down a little bit faster. And you can shake the Wii remote that... Why am I doing so terrible at this? I'm not, not sure. Well, if we're lucky, we can get a propeller mushroom anyway, soon. Yeah, there's another one. See? Not too bad. See those red rings? Um, if you go through them, you see 8 coins. If you pick them all up, you can get them either a power-up or an extra life when you already have power-ups. So there we go, it's our first extra life. And if I stop performing so poorly, we can get a shootload of extra more lives. Extra lives. There we go. Uh, at the right stop- God! Son <laughs> Stop sucking! You can see on the right top of the screen, there's a time limit right there. If you you know, if the time runs out, then you're bone. And see this instant where you need to use the wall jump, like right? uh, here, here. Okay, there we go. I need to get my wall jumping control straight, and yeah, there we go. And there we go, that's coin number two. Only one more, and then we are done with the stage. You end over here, and if you hit this, you can actually life. It's pretty nice. And as you could see, some of the Koopas will actually, um, Joins for oh god, I missed one. I know where it is, it's somewhere in the air. But I can't get it without a propeller suit. Or can I? Oop, nope, nope, no. <laughs> Let's not do that. Okay. Can I can I get actually get up there? With, oh hi. Oh go oh. You had to trick me there, didn't you? Maybe you can still make it up there. There we go. Okay, that was not so smart. Oh nope, 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 no, no, we cannot. Okay. Well, it's, it's up there. The corner's right up there. Don't tell me I have to backtrack at the first bloody level, that's just freaking pathetic. Let's see if we can make it up there. Oop, there we go. No, oh, that was pretty epic though. Yeah, the, that one corner's right up there. Hopefully we can get a power up somewhere. A propeller, <laughs> propeller suit somewhere. That would be pretty amazing. And you see the Koopas dancing to the rhythm of the music. Who must jump to the rhythm of music? God, stop! Ah, uh, just stop. Okay. Uh, what I'll do is just go to the finish, then I'll cut to this bit again, and I'll show you the third coin. Yeah, let's uh, let's do that. Because you know you don't want to see me go through the stage twice in a row. It's just the first stage. What is this much more? F oh, this is gonna get fun, isn't it? Flagpole, self-explanatory. So explained if you hit the top you get an extra life. The much further you go down, the less points you get. That was just pathetic. I've gotta admit that. That was really, really pathetic. And so when you complete levels, new levels will unlock, etc, etc, etc. So um, I will see you back at the third coin right there. So I'll see you back in a second. Okay, we're back here again. Now I see I'm at the top of this just where I picked up the there was the red ring right there. So now, uh, right up here. So what I'm going to do is just spin up and launch down. There we go. Let's spin, jump on the Koopa. And there's the corn right there. Bam. Well, the end is actually too far from here, so I might as well finish up the stage and get an extra life. Sure, why not? Bam. Hut. There we go. And we get self course clear. Mario time. Hoo hoo. That was pretty pathetic. The first level, and you felt miserably like a horse. Yes. Okay, looking at the time, we still have plenty of time for the second level. If we, even I had to cut things away. And it's pretty nice that the things move uh, in the background. 
with the with the rhythm theme with the rhythm of the music is pretty awesome. But enough talking about it, let's let's start to World One Two. Because we have already enough we have enough things to do right now. Especially with my fling, it's gonna take much, much longer. So yeah. How's everybody doing? Today is actually the Oh, new power up. The Ice Flower. If you just it's basically the same as the Fire Flower, only you can turn things into ice. And if you press one while checking the remotes, you can pick up frozen enemies and throw them. With the one button. It's pretty awesome. It can be very it can be very handy later on in the game. But for now, just to basically explaining it. Power block. When you get it, you see all those enemies and coins, they will fall down. It will it's basically is the kill for all of the enemies, or most of the enemies. I think most of them really. And you see prana plants, you cannot kill them unless you have a fire flower or an ice flower which can freeze them and just cramp on them. See if there's a secret in here. I'm not sure about it. So it doesn't seem like it. Okay. Actually, a new thing right here. You can shake and remote and you can actually control this. So let's see if we can get that power up right here. It's another ice flower. We'll get an extra thousand points. So it's always, always nice. So let's go in here. I'm definitely sure there's a coin in here, but or something else. Well, there's a Goomba in there, so that's amazing. There's a few hidden coin blocks right here. It's yeah, okay, that's, that's all of them. Make sure I don't scrub with Goomba. We do not want that. And there's a coin right there. Let's pick that up. Wait a second, so these bricks will turn back in coins again, and get a few more. Bam! And I'm actually alive. My God, we're picking them up like crazy. Oh god, you can use him also as platforms, which is really nice. I'm just leave this guy frozen there. For an eternity. No one will ever pick him. No one! Yep, okay. Also, you can, when you're big, I think you, it's when you're small as well, you can actually break these blocks with the grandpa. I'm not sure if I've shown it off yet. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> let's not do that. Let's not do that again. Okay, let's just, extra life? No, Starman. Summer always gives you invincibility for a limited period of time. If you can combo your way through enemies, you can get extra lives by multiple times when you kill enemies. Ugh. Okay, I missed that. Well, if it look, doesn't look suspicious at all with that, there's a pipe there, down there. I'm not sure if there's anything up here, so I'll check just to be sure. Because, hey, who oh god, need me to do it. But hey, who knows, maybe there's something super secret up there, which nobody find. Okay. What is there is something up there actually. What is actually there? up there? Just a few coins. Okay, that's always nice, I guess. Okay, and let's break it all the way through to the bottom. Yeah, that was pretty amazing. Okay. Now, power blocks. So that's the way you need to get a coin. Power block. Boom. Coin is there. And that's number three. Now, that was so difficult, like the first level, wasn't it? No, it was not. You're just failing. That's why. <laughs> that, that, that's just the reason. Okay, now let's proceed on ahead and finish up this level. And you're frozen. That's pretty amazing. Let's see if we can get another extra life. That would be nice. Let's go down. There we go. Extra life. I'll take that. Also, there's a very neat thing when we get 99 lives, but I'll show it when we eventually get there if I... At this pace, we're doing pretty good on life, so... There we go, another one. 18 lives, and we're only 2 acts in. I think we started about something with 6 or 3 or something. So we're ranking up lives rather quickly. Which is really nice. So looking at the time, it's about 15 minutes, so I think it's a good... Um, I think it's a good time to stop right here. So, in the next part, um, I will show you off the Mushroom Mouse, and we'll continue on with Act 1.3, where we will see an old familiar friend. So, thank you all for watching, this is your lovely Zubzonic signing off, see you then and see you all at the next part.